Welcome back to my channel, Retro Geek 1987, and today I'm going to be making mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is probably one of my favorite dishes to make at home. It is the simplest, easiest, and cheapest thing you can make at home if you don't want to spend money on takeout outside, or if you're home and you're lazy and you just want to cook something quick. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so this is all the things that you need to have, well, I use when I'm making mac and cheese. Uh, of course, you need your butter. Um, of course, I don't use the entire, this is just a half a stick of butter, but I don't use the whole thing. Um, salt, that's, uh, you put that in the water after it boils. Um, some carnation milk, uh, elbow macaroni, um, mozzarella cheese, and cheddar cheese. And by the way, I always make, I try to make beans with almost every dish that I um, make at home. Not all the time, but most of the time because beans are healthy for you, obviously. So whether it's um, baked beans, whenever I make mac and cheese or macaroni pie, I always make a side of baked beans. And sometimes I make I'll make lentils, red red beans, or black beans, but. These are by far my favorite, and this brand. Okay, and of course I have my water. Let's start boiling the water. And this is just a separate pot to make the beans. The bean takes about less than 10 minutes to make, probably even five minutes to make. But this is just, it's a simple uh, dish to make while you're home. Um, I'm a cheese lover, I never was, but now I'm a cheese lover. So when I make mac and cheese, I, smother the whole thing with just cheese, mozzarella and cheddar. Okay, so water is boiling. Now let's add your salt. Sure, not adding too much. This is so the macaroni doesn't stick together. And let's add your elbow. It doesn't really matter how much you you put inside the water to boil. It all depends on if you want to have leftovers, so you can use the whole box. So I'm cooking for two, so this should be about enough. And let's just mix it. Now, just have to wait till it finishes. I mean, some people like to eat the macaroni if it's a little hard. I like when it's soft, so I'll just cook it medium to soft. But some people like to eat, I guess they say al dente, which means, I guess, a little hard. <laughs> I'm going to start to heat up the beans. These beans are delicious. They're really sweet and it has a uh, bacon inside as you can see. So and like I said it doesn't take long to cook probably less than 10 minutes. chunks of bacon that I was telling you about. You can tell when it's starting to um, 
finish up when it starts feeling really thick and the water starts feeling less because now it's starting to feel really thick now. Okay, so beans are done and the macaroni is almost finished boiling. So I'm gonna crank this open first, just give it a little shake. Open that and then drain the macaroni and start the process. Okay, so this is a half a stick of butter. I, I'm obviously not going to use the entire half, so I'm just going to cut it, let's say, about here. And I'll just use this part. Just keep use um, until it melts the butter. Just try to get as much butter in every part of the macaroni. So when that way, when you put the cheese on it, it sticks. See the butter is melting into the macaroni. Now let's add the carnation milk. Let's add the cheese. We added the cheddar cheese and the mozzarella cheese. Now just swish it around. That way it can melt. And you're gonna have a big pot of cheesy mac and cheese. And that's the finishing touch. The beans and the mac and cheese. Um, by the way, I'm not a professional chef. I'm just showing those out there how I make mac and cheese. And for those who are not, people around the world who's not aware, with, aware of uh, mac and cheese, this is how some people will make it. Obviously, I use milk in mine. Some people who hate milk probably wouldn't use milk. But um, yeah, this is the finishing touch. You can't really see it too well because it's really sunny over here. It's really bright. Beans.
All right, so it tastes amazing. Um, if it wasn't that sunny, you would actually see the um, the melted cheese when you scoop up the macaroni. And you'll see the, the how the cheese melts, but it's so sunny, so you can't really see it too well. The dish, but like I said, I'm not a professional chef. That's just how I make my mac and cheese. Um, for those for those people out there who's not aware with that particular dish, you don't have to put milk in it. I just put milk in mine. And you don't have to put mozzarella cheese. I just put mozzarella cheese because I'm a cheesy. I love cheese. But if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to comment down below. I'll see you folks next time. Bye.